Hello everyone, this is Freya and welcome to a new episode of Freya's Herbs. In this episode we are going to talk about the Yudnar energy in anger management. Throughout the years I have come to notice that folks with the Yudnar spirit tend to have certain personality traits. One of them is anger management difficulties. Those of us with Yudnar spirits have an internal Fenrir part that has nowhere to be and go into this world, this time and this space. It's very hard to deal with that part, so is learning to be around those folk who have that in themselves but have had to bind themselves to social codes that clearly state when and where their rages, their passions, their hungers are acceptable. Most people do not understand what it's like to go around feeling like you are boiling all the time or to be very cold and yet passionate and have that be an integral part of your nature from birth rather than having it stem from some damage. They tend to give bad advice on how to handle that, ranging from just don't be that way, to heal yourself and it will go away, or I refuse to believe that that is just the way you are, or if that is really what you are like inside, you're dangerous. This is unhelpful at best and can be downright damaging at worst. Talking to the Yudnar can help you understand how to live with this kind of nature. If you are close to someone who is strongly connected to the Yudnar and perhaps has the personality characteristics that suggest Yudnar spirit, an excellent deity to call on for aid in understanding is Freyr. Freyr fell madly in love with Gerda, who is cold, reserved, coming from a bloodthirsty family and was willing to give up his sword to her family and thus be ever more defenseless in order to win her. Freyr is a god of light who loves and appreciates darkness. Freyr can be extremely helpful in coming to not only an understanding but to an appreciation of your nature. Individuals with a predominant Yudnar spirit are more prone to outbursts of anger and this is made clear as something that draws the attention of the Yudnar. I wouldn't presume these people to be descended from giants in any way, shape or form. We are humans whether we like it or not. However, I understand and recognize many of the traits ascribed to the Yudnar as traits that we humans share. Feeling distant and unwelcome amidst most people. It certainly does fit there as well. The Yudnar can help people with these traits to understand their nature and improve how they relate to the world. It's a phenomenal benefit that these entities are out there to respond to people in similar situations who don't find that kind of kinship in other gods. Some people simply and beautifully share a sense of spirit and a 
essential energy of sorts with the Yutnar. They are mercurial, they are volatile, they are passionate, they are elemental. I will now offer some runes for anger management. La Goose, the rune of water, the idea of going with the flow. Isa, the stillness rune reminding us to take time to reflect on the situation and examine our feelings. Isa recommends that we pause, consider, plan and even organize our thoughts and feelings. Look at the big picture. This will also help you realize what is in your control and what is not and you will need to let go of the latter. Yebu, Yebu reminds us that not all gifts really come beautifully wrapped with a bow on top. By simply taking time to reflect and consider the entire conflict instead of our allowing anger to jump into the middle of it. Through this we will be able to forgive, apologize and clarify which may be a gift to the other person or a gift to ourselves. I could use an example from the Finnish Kalevala where the sorcery is all about learning the true name of something. This example might offer a very valuable key when it comes to managing those Yutnar personality traits. The true name of something is not a magic word, it's a magic feeling, a way of being, an intimate knowledge of that element. When you have made that intimate connection, something of it is in you and you can work with it way easier than someone who's standing back and working with it from a safe distance. I will close off this video by reciting a piece of a song from Amon Amarth that I absolutely adore because I think that it can offer a key of interpretation of this kind of issue we have talked about today that is very very precious. All this rage and all this hate, it burns me deep inside and still it is the only thing keeping me alive. Dark ambition within my heart and it's aching to break free. The one true nature of my soul, the giant, lives in me. Thank you so very much for watching this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Tusen tack, ha det bra!